So hello everyone, this is Luboš Pirkel from CFD Support. I would like to welcome you to the webinar where we are going to introduce an optimization workflow for a rotating machinery. And today it will be shown on a centrifugal fan. So as you can imagine, it can be used for any rotating machinery, but today we are going to deal with the centrifugal fan for good reasons. So I hope everything is working well. We are running live. So in case of any technical problems, feel free to contact us and we will gladly answer all your questions and comments. The webinar is being recorded and uh, the recording will be made later publicly available. And yeah, we have a lot of shiny new stuff to show. So we will gladly show you why we are so excited about this new optimization tools. So make yourself comfortable and please follow carefully and please do think what it is that you need in your simulations, what, what you would like to improve and feel free to tell us. We be, will be certainly happy to help and happy to discuss your individual topics and cases with you. So certainly feel free to get in touch. And uh, yeah, I think we can we can start with, with the webinar. So as usual, I can I can introduce or I'd like to introduce the webinar speakers. So that it, this will be me. My name is Tuboš Pirkel and my, my current job at CFD Support is telling the world about us. And right next door is sitting my colleague Radek Maca, who is our head engineer and senior developer. So hello, hello Radek, can you hear us? Yeah, hello, hello Luboš and hello everyone who is watching. I am set and ready, so so go ahead. <laughs> okay, so I can go, I can go straight ahead, which I am doing right now. Okay, no jokes. Let's continue. So, yeah, uh, as usual, there's the there's the agenda. So, uh, in the beginning, we will start with quite general introduction, uh, and later we will follow uh, with the details uh, along the way throughout the webinar. So, in the first part, it will be me. Actually, I'll give a general introduction about what has been done and what's on the table. And in the second part, uh, it will be Radex turn. He will he will he will show you um, the, the actually the, the the optimization workflow of the centrifugal fan, especially with with, with all the details how, how to set it and how, how we think and how we use it inside a TCA simulation environment. And as usual, uh, later uh, in the latest part of the of the webinar, there will be a Q&A session dedicated to your questions and our answers. So feel free to ask your questions anytime during the webinar. You can be sure that all the relevant questions will be answered. Uh, some will be answered right away in the webinar. Uh, those those most common, more, most representative and typical questions, and the rest will be answered later via email. So feel feel free to ask your questions. Uh, use your time to the fullest. It's it's your time uh, actually. So definitely we, we we are ready to help and and feel free to to make make the best use of the time and um, yeah i think yeah this is this is really it so i'll i'll start with quick general introduction so cfd support is, is our company uh, founded 2009 uh, located in prague czech republic and we deal with uh, engineering simulations as you know with the simulation, I mean specifically CFD, FEA, FSI, and optimization. It's commonly abbreviated in the term CAE, Computer Aided Engineering. And here we primarily focus on the development of the simulation environment uh, TCAE. We we put a lot of emphasis to to deliver. Uh, well, let's say very very high edit value to to our users the software we create here is a definitely high-end software and our clients are ca professionals who know well what what they want uh, we are obsessed with accuracy accuracy is our highest priority uh, and besides accuracy we are focused on automation repeatability and scaling of of application tailored solutions we don't believe in general purpose codes we don't believe that any particular software can accurately simulate everything or that anyone can simulate anything. We believe that it's all about focused applications in sharp, 
uh, edged applications. We, we do believe that any successful project is a result of focus, skills, experience, patience, and dedication. And yeah, that's, that's why we are being picked. We have a very strong team of developers. We use professional tools to maintain the software and our, our users, user bases. Uh, what's important that is that we believe in open source, especially we, we believe in combination of open source and professional technical support. So we have mastered the process of open source integration. In TCAE, we have improved and uh, integrated uh, 48 open source projects, which make together with years of experience, a very effective shake or weapon. It's a really big thing. On, on top of that, those open sources, we have invested more than 30 many years of focused code development in a team and to deliver uh, such such like simulation tools like like this. So that's that's what has been done. So TCA is a simulation environment with substantial value and at very reasonable costs, I would say. TCAE successfully merged the benefits of open source with the benefits of commercial codes. Due to the open source nature, it's unlimited, it's extremely flexible, it's it's like open, uh, and due to the commercial code nature, it's uh, it has graphical interface, it has professional technical support, it's robust, it's accurate, it's automated, it's well tested, and I would say it's simply ready to be used uh, in in the industry. While standard open source, as it is available everywhere on the internet, it's it's unfortunately not. So that's the difference. Uh, this is how the graphical interface of TCAE looks like. Uh, the user can do here anything from the simulation setup uh, through the simulation run uh, to the detailed post-processing of the results. And besides graphical interface, it's the, of course the batch mode is available and TCAE TCA can be run by another software or inside another software, or it can run another software. It's it's well scriptable. so. It's definitely uh, very flexible in these terms. Uh, TCAE consists of software modules. That's very important. So uh, anyone can pick what fits exactly to his project needs and resources. Uh, as already mentioned, uh, yeah, it, it has module character. So uh, there are there are modules, especially for for meshing, for CFD, and for FEA simulation. Newly in the latest release, we have we have added the, the optimization module, which which makes which brings uh, so much value. Uh, that's why we are super excited about it because it brings a much better value than than we expected in the first place. It's a really big thing, and this optimization thinking is a really big thing, and we are definitely. Uh, going to 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 use it and think about it uh, because it's it's really big. Uh, besides all that module thinking, it's we have like like horizontal way of thinking, which is adding new modules, and vertical uh, way of thinking, which is adding uh, new applications and capabilities to to existing modules. But still, what's on the table is the simulation environment with with a lot of options and a lot of possibilities. Yes, uh, this this module character is uh, has like strong integration ability. It fits any existing workflow. So whatever you are used to use and like it, you can keep it, and still you can integrate uh, any of these uh, TCAE modules and and create your own workflow. That's that's perhaps one of the best things about TCAE. So there are modules, and you can no matter if you if you use commercial tools or in-house tools or another open source, you can you can still uh, you can still create your own workflow. Uh, so yeah, so the, I'll, I'll continue with with uh, this uh, information. TCA is a complex simulation environment, and it's. Uh, very flexible. It's it's in the beginning it was created for turbo machinery applications and later it was ex extended for internal and external aerodynamics. Uh, 
what's important there are no limitations on the number of its users jobs or cores there are no limitations on hardware installations there is no hardware lock tca is completely unlimited uh, in, in regards to this so the users can can scale and use their resources and people and hardware to the fullest that's definitely big big thing uh, it's very flexible in terms of uh, using you can use it on, on on laptop on pc on cluster you can take it to the cloud you can you can really uh, do what, what fits to your resources that's great um, it's definitely accurate we are we are it's accurate because it's focused right so it's focused on turbo machinery for example and it, it can be accurate because it was created for turbo machinery right so uh, as i mentioned we don't believe in general purpose codes we believe in focused sharp applications which dcae certainly is uh, and there are a lot of benchmarks we, we did in the past and we are, we are ready to, to prove it's accurate so so don't worry you you we always have to to trust it before you go for it so that's our it's our rule and in the last one of the last points of this is uh, TCA is automated. It's it's uh, very effective because you can use it uh, as a black box if you like. You can put the data in, uh, let it work, and pull the data off. Or it can be used as a totally high-end software where all the options are open and uh, all the sophisticated method methods are are open you can set everything everything is readable and uh, uh, open and uh, for this reason it's it's really really great uh, high-end software okay uh, recently we have released uh, its latest version which is 21.9 and there were there were a couple of new capabilities but especially uh, the the new optimization module the opt which allows like the OE optimization uh, pure optimization and uh, it can involve all the, all the all the possible third party software so it's a really really big thing maybe i should uh, mention why we are so excited about the optimization uh, we we believe that the optimization is is uh, a paradigm shift we believe it's something uh, which which changes the the rules of the game the, the game we play we have played so far was like like trial and error method right so we have we have we have we have set the simulation, waited, and then then evaluated the results somehow. But with the optimization at hand, it's the, the the rules of the game are a little bit different because if you if you get to the to the level where you, where you make things automated, then you then you then then you're ready to to receive so much more value out of it because the the automated algorithm can do the simulations for you and it can it can evaluate the results and pick the best uh, results for you and it can do more of the good results and less of the bad results and it's really a really big thing we, we believe that the, we're engineers right and and we as engineers we think that the world consists of parameters uh, everything can be parameterized and simulation is only a set of parameters which is executed by by the code and then it's if you know that, that parameters if you know what you want to do then it's quite easy to 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 let uh, the, the algorithm to, to change the parameters and 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 you can you can you can follow follow the results or the, the results can be followed by an automated algorithm and evaluate it and for this reason it's a really big shift uh from the trial and error method to the conceptual search for for the best possible that's a really a really big, big thing uh, because there are a lot of parameters it's we are certainly facing a multi-dimensional problem uh, the the general parametric space is very large to navigate in with random actions so it, it definitely has to be like driven by by an algorithm and it has to be the, it definitely has to be a machine who does the all, all those simulations and changes the parameters that, that's for sure and uh, another good news is uh, this automation helps to avoid a human error because we, we know that the 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 portion of human error on all the, the errors is, is huge so from technical support we know that uh, also also diminishing this this human error makes a large impact on on the, the overall correctness of, of of the results and and the projects and and happiness of engineers um, 
Okay. By by the way, we have we have shared some uh, a little article about all, all, all about this uh, optimization, which which is more more like conceptual, and you can get get more uh, uh, information in it. So you can find it through our website. I will I will continue with uh, a little bit more specific information. So we have delivered this the opt. Uh, module, which is which is uh, another software module, and and it interacts in in the star, standard TCAE workflow um, according to this to to this scheme you can you can see. So if the opt module is included, then it first uh, decides what what mode is used and uh, then what method is used. Uh, if it's uh, the optimization or or if it's DOE, and based on some, some other options which are which are not that uh, special, you can you can you can everybody can understand them. It's pretty simple. Uh, after some parameters to to change are picked. Uh, the simulation, the like like the simulation point is created. Then 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 the standard uh, TCAE process uh, runs, which is the mesh creation. Then CFD or, or possibly the FEA simulation, and then again, if if we are not converged in this optimization loop, uh, the another loop starts and and changes and generates the new point of the parametric space, and and again and again and again, uh, simulation happens this way. Uh, we have a couple of examples, but I'm not gonna go too much to details. I, I will leave this to Radek. So I have just a, just a simple, very simple uh, example which we which we did uh, together with, with with the with the release. It's a simple 2D uh, NACA airfoil or any airfoil can be used uh, in in this in this like workflow. Uh, it was an example where we were looking for the the highest lift depending on the angle of attack, uh, which which is which is the angle uh, at which. Uh, uh, the flow comes along the uh, along the airfoil, and uh, this optimization uh, has only just one parameter, right? There's just one parameter. It's the angle of attack, and the algorithm changes the angle of attack, and the simulation TCAE creates a new and new points, and and uh, the optimization algorithm algorithm finds uh, the highest CL, which is the optimization function for this. So it's such a simple su such a simple simulation. Uh, with one with one parameter is used in this case. So it's the example number one. If we will we will be a little bit more general, there will be an example number two. It's uh, this one is quite artificial. It's it's just like like a, a rounded uh, elbow or it's it's a rounded rounded pipe, which is rounded by 180 degrees and uh, the flow uh, flows in it. And the, there are three parameters. Those are actually rad radiuses uh, at three points uh, of the pipe, and uh, the the, evolu uh, the optimization function is is the efficiency, right? The lowest pressure drop, the lowest losses in the in that pipe, uh, is is the is the desired uh, optimization function. So now now it's three parameters. We have again set up. Uh, we have created the workflow. Which is used to to change the shape of the pipe, and uh, again the algorithm finds the the lowest pressure drop, which looks something like this, as, as you can see. And uh, in the last example, which is the object of today's webinar, I'm finally getting to this uh, centrifugal fan. We have picked five. We have picked five. Uh, Parameters, which is which is uh, basically based on the on the on the on the shape of of the impeller of the fan. So so we have simulated complete impellers, uh, really complete impeller. Uh, I mean complete uh, centrifugal fans, but but only the impeller is changed in the in the same volume all the time and with the same boundary conditions. And uh, we were like optimizing the wheel, and uh, that's the object of today's webinar. So maybe it. There will be okay. I have a couple of slides, a couple of slides more. Uh, so with this optimization tools, we have it's associated with a lot of extra data analysis, and uh, it opens the new world of statistics and and tells you the de all the possible dependencies between parameters. And and you 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 when you start using this optimization 
tools you you start learning much faster uh, about what's important what's not important how how to think about the simulation and how the the optimization function looks like and it's really big amazing new world <laughs> which which we we believe is is uh the, the that paradigm shift I, as i as i mentioned there are a lot of statistics even this is an example of axial fan where, where only two parameters changed uh, the flow rate and rpm the, the rotation speed and uh, so much new data arised and so much new interesting dependencies uh, arise that it, that i have to say we we were here at cfd support quite well surprised how how it works and and what we can learn from the simulation uh, okay yes so this was um, it from my general introduction and and now i would like to ask radek to to make his contribution perhaps uh, more details uh, how it looks in the graphical interface so hello radek uh, yeah. still hello Lubos. Yes, yes i am here can you hear me and can you see my screen uh yes we can see your screen so right. the stage is yours okay thank you so hello to everyone again so in this part i will i will show you particular stuff how to work with it with with the t-opt and i will show you particular workflow on one of our former cases which is the centrifugal fan so this fan were already presented in the previous previous webinars and all the setup starting from start, starting from meshing and setting a cfd simulation and post processing it so today i will i will apply above the new model topt and we will run we will set and and run the optimization on this centrifugal model so the basic information you can find directly on our web pages you can download it and even you can you can try it on your site on your own so what we are going to do so we we took this centrifugal fund design for which we have developed a simple simple uh geometrical uh, simple parametric simple uh, parametric model which we have developed in in salome via the python scripting so the the model itself includes i think more more or less 30 30 parameters to be set and for the optimization case we pick up let's say i think five parameters which are connected to the shape of the shape of the impeller itself yeah, so so this let's say can be a case study how to how to improve the efficiency of this fun without changing the volume or, or the spill, spiller inlet inlet shape and so so just to let's say replace the impeller with a better shape to fit fit in, let's say new conditions or to to improve to improve the efficiency so basically what we what we will optimize is five parameters one is the number of blades which is pretty easy then there are there is a blade thickness there is the blade radius blade angle so how, how long the, the blade is and the last one is the width of the impeller itself so this b1 and b2 parameters which is set to the same same um to the same value so this we will set up uh, so this is some kind of some middle size par middle size uh, fan i think the diameter is 1.1 meter and all the other yeah all the other par parameters for the default default one are presented here okay so how how we should start so let me let me borrow borrow the the preset preset case so first of all we have this geometry builder in our working directory so geometry builder includes the python scripts which can generate uh, which can generate the stls as the output everything is run via via salome and basically at the end you you will get the stls of each part of the model which can then you use for the for the meshing in tmesh and everything is run via via this via this parameter file so it includes all the parameters and its values for generating the geometry 
and particularly we will we will we will we will change just uh, just uh, five parameters so so the geometry geometry generator should be included in general you can use any any software any in-house code which can read an input and give you an out output in format of STLs or of the external mesh if you have any any an external meshing tool. Then we need we need a script which which connects Tiopt and TCAE itself with the external tools. So I will then command this initial script, let's say, and this geometric builder parameters template is basically a template for for setting the parameters yeah so basically we will we will touch only these five parameters so basically the initial script reads reads the read the name of the parameters from the from the tiopt so we will set it then in the gui these parameter names and it it will it will change them based on the requirement of the algorithm so in the in the each step of the of the optimization run the new parameters will be set so this will be this will be pushed to this file and based on this file the the geometric the geometrical geometric builder will be run and generate the stls for us so at the beginning i will open let's say the preset preset case without without the optimization so this this what you will see is a standard standard setup for for a standard CFD simulation. So I will quickly show you how does it look like. Basically, what is important? So because in the geometry builder, so here in the STLs, there will be always new STLs after each run of the optimization. So basically this, this file, this folder will always include the actual geometry for the particle run. So for the very first setup, I basically preset the simulation. So so the TMesh setup for the STLs, which are directly in this in this folder. Yeah. So when I whenever I will set set the proper meshing, then I am done, and I don't need to care about it because it will it will run automatically afterwards. And the 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 same holds for the simulation setup. So we, we will set a standard CFD simulation with with all the parameters we need for this for the simulation. And for example, for the sake of simplicity, we are simulating just one point here. So let let's say we would like to optimize this fan at the at the particle flow rates. So in this in our case, there will be 10 cubic meters per second. So we would like to find the best efficiency or best setup for the parameters which we set for the optimization and for them we would like to find a combination with the best which gives us the best efficiency from the cfd point of view yeah so we can we can set everything here to to follow let's say to have a nice trustable results and then afterwards we are we are satisfied with the with the mesh mesh topology with the with the CFD results, then we can directly start to run the Topt module. So it is done in the standard way. So we enable the Topt module by by hitting this this button. So now a new item here will appear. The Topt, which in default um, includes additional items like the setup for the TF top report which we can generate during the during the t opt run geometry actual geometry design or setup for the particle run and of course of course the the, the data which the optimization gives gives us okay so let's let's start to set up the t t opt so what what we have here so let's start from the top to the bottom the operation mode there are two modes at the moment the first one is doe so to to let's say run an explicit explicit optimization optimization so we explicitly set the combination of parameters and all this combination will be will be run automatically or 
we can run the operation mode optimize. So we would like to just set how many runs we can run and uh, the optimization algorithm will try to find out the, the best best solution for us. Okay, so this is the case you would like to run. So the optimize. So the method is built in. So now for this version one, T of version one, we have one algorithm set, the golden section search, which is a simple algorithm to find the, the, the maximum or minimum for the optimization function. And it's it's robust enough to give give us a pretty good results. If you want to use any any other any other algorithm, you can you can connect, for example, any external tool like Dakota or, or your in-house codes or whatever you want. So everything can be customizable via the scripting. Yeah, for for example, Dakota can be easily connected. So for now, we will use our built-in algorithm. Then there is the option regenerate mesh. So one is the automatic. So you can, for example, you can run run the optimization to find the, the best RPMs yeah, for the for the given given geometry. So you don't need to regenerate the mesh. So you don't you don't need to run the T mesh or load external mesh any for any run. So the automatic way should recognize it automatically, but it for some reason, if you use, for example, some scripting, which which cannot cannot recognize if the mesh should be changed or not, you can explicitly say if the mesh for each run should be regenerated or 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 if shouldn't. Yeah, so never never generate the mesh only for the first time, of course, and always for every run. So here we keep automa automatic, and because we are changing the input geometry, so for each run the new new meshing will be done. Then uh, the custom initialization script. So if you if you simulate something, if you would like to optimize something, or the parameters which are directly in TCFD or in TMesh or TFEA, so you do you can automatically use the workflow without any any custom scripting. But if you would like to connect for example, the, the, the geometry generation with an external tool, like in this case, you should include the custom initialization script. So I will I will find it for now and then I will comment it. So this is this in, initial initial script, which will which will manage the creation of of a new setup of parameters and, and generate new STLs. All right, then then we have some custom convert convergence check script so if you would like to use some some i don't know custom custom criteria to stop the optimization so again you can use it via the scripting the maximal runs means so how many how many optim or how many parameters variation you would like to run for this for this optimization so you you need to have any let's say any any you you, you need to have some guess to to have how many how many variation you can run or you need to run so it's a combination of all this all this let's say criteria so let's say we would like to run up to 300 variations so now number of parameters so as i as i already mentioned we would like to have five parameters and the best way to connect with an external tool is to name is to name the parameters directly uh, in the same way like it is it is denoted in this external tool so in our case let's say let's open the the parameters file for the for the geometry builder and we have these five parameters so we sh we should name name them in this way in the same way because then the connection will be much easier to connect the the t opt with the external tool so uh, we will name the parameters in the same way like it is defined here in this external tool. So let's go back to the GUI. So first one, let's say is the, is the number of number of of blades. Okay. So this is the parameter number one. The type 
it can be how 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 because we would like to say the minimum and maximum range for this number for this parameter so let's say the minimum number of blades will be five and maximum for example for example 12 or let's say okay let's say 15 and how 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 the of uh, the optimization optimization algorithm should vary these uh, these these numbers or the, the parameter number of blades using the linear space or log space or or list so we can explicitly explicitly say what will what will the values be for the optimization so we keep it as linear space so any any number in this in this interval can be can be picked all right then number of samples so before the optimization algorithm is run it first runs the doe yes and how many samples for doe for each parameter should be run so i will keep at two at two so it means first we will explore the boundary of the parametric space and then the algorithm will go inside to reach for the best uh, to reach to reach the optimization function the maximum of the optimization function for example Group ID, you can if there is zero, there there are no connection with with uh, with uh, each parameters. But for example, you can connect if if there is some uh, some dependency. So for example, you would like to vary two parameters together. So then you can connect them by the same group ID. Yeah, but all the parameters in here are independent, so we don't need to set it. Okay. <clears throat> yeah and and what i <laughs> what i didn't check so the first one the kind is the x uh, either keyword which is the which is the given param parameter from the from the tc workflow or a custom which is which is then external 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 parameter it doesn't which is not connected to the tc workflow itself like number of uh, like um, background mesh sizing or RPMs or or flow rate at the inlet and, and so so I need to I need to I need to fill the form again so number of blades so kind is custom and because it is unknown we need to explicitly explicitly set the type of of the of the value so here number of blades is an integer. And in the similar way, we need to set the rest of the parameters. So the parameter two is again custom, and the name is blade radius. Is the second one. It is real. Again, the linear space, and the blade radius, which we can let's say pick the range is between zero and five, and zero and seventy-five. Okay. The third parameter is the blade thickness. Ah, oh, sorry again first custom then blade thickness again the type is real linear split space and and the proper value could be something like seven and a half millimeters up to two centimeters for this let's say optimization and the particle fun the, the fourth one is the blade angle which is the blade angle as yeah from the from the from the sketch i have shown you which uh, which is the angle in radians so i think a proper value here was something like between 52 and 68 and the last one is the thickness of the wheel v12 uh, sorry again first custom v12 real linear space and the proper value here, I think if I remember correctly, is something like 10 centimeters up to 30 centimeters. All right. Okay, let me to be sure I will save it. So radial fan T opt. All right, to, to have this setup explicitly saved. So back to the setup. So now we have let five parameters which we can vary and then we we can set any number of quantities to be tracked so we we can set 
any number of quantities which are important for me or for me and for this optimization so here we set three quantities so first one first one is is the efficiency the second one could be for example the power and the third one can be the total pressure difference for example so these three important parameters for the fun fun simulations so there are two types again the custom so we can using the script which which will give you which will give you back the value you want to you want to you want to track for example if you use because you can also use the external tool for that or if you have a sp some specific specific uh, evaluation of some quantity which is not directly in the TCFD or in TFEA so you can you can get it from any any file for example by a scripting so you can load it load it as an implicit function from 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 a file somewhere for example but this one all these quantities are built in so we can easily find them here so efficiency the name is the efficiency so the name which will appear in the report or the name you can use it to refer to when you build the optimization function for example so efficiency and acceptable range so you can also set which ranges are acceptable and which are not so basically if if the efficiency will appear for example more than one or less than zero it means that something wrong with the simulation so we can exclude it from the optimization so let's say in this case what, what can be uh, let's say I think the minimum 30 and maximum something like 97 for example because we know that it is not possible to get more from from the fun let's say and I think it's too much anyway all right so the second one as i mentioned it was i think power right so let's say we can set power the name we can keep power and acceptable range i think this this fan has something like 300 kilowatts or something like that so let's say from 5000 watts 50 kilowatts up to let's say i don't know is 100,000 watts, for example. Again, to really exclude the values we do not want to include into the into the optimization run. And the last one is, for example, this delta uh, p dot, so total pressure difference. And again, definitely it must be it must be positive. So let's say something between 1,000 and I think I think the best efficiency point for the for the initial state is something like 20,000 pascals, so we can set 50,000 pascals, let's say. All right. And here, if you see these gray gray columns, it it is it, it refers to the simulation where more points or more speed lines are simulated. Then you can really pick up any any quantity for for the for for example efficiency from the second point, whatever and then the optimization function can be built as a combination of these these two maybe i think this will be better to have one one name without without the white spaces it's always clever to set in this way okay and the optimization function here we simply choose the efficiency as the opt op optimization function so we will set efficiency and we would like to follow the maximum of the efficiency and uh, here are the relative tolerances so if the efficiency varies less than this threshold then the optimization can be stopped yeah so maybe we can set it to be more more detailed and this is the relative tolerance so relative to the to the actual value or absolute tolerance i think it's too much so let's say okay, we can set it also to 10 to minus 4 then 10, 10, 10 to minus 4 all right so basically this is the interface for the topt or the basic parameters for the topt and now we need to a little bit discuss how the connection is made so i will save the current setup and let me open let me open this in initial initialization script so everything is scriptable via python so you can do almost everything 
so what is done here i will i will mention just the just the basic steps so let's say the python script starts here so first of all the the t opt there is an interface to this python let's say interface and it includes this params dictionary automatically which includes all the setup all the values uh, all the names of the parameters and values for which are set in the whole tca workflow so you can you can get for example number of processors you can you can get the background mesh size for the machine you can get the level of refinement on each on a particular part you can get inlet or outlet boundary conditions so here's under this name t of number of parameters we can get number of parameters we set we set here in the t opt yeah so we we got here five parameters and it is a kind of dictionary so the value zero means the first value if it's vector you can you can go over each each item in the vector and in the scalar there is just one so this this give us the number of parameters so n par will will be five so then in the in for cycle we will iterate for each parameters and we will get the names of the parameters so this one the t opt labeled from zero to or from one to up to the number of parameters and the parameter name will will give us basically these these names number of blades blade radius blade thickness and so on and everything we will store in the in the simple list like the name of the parameter and value of the of the parameter which which uh, which the optimization function or doe is actually running yeah so for each t opt run we get the name and each, and the given values and then this function write param, param file will will modify for us this let's say this parameter parametric file for our geometric builder so basically what it do it will take this template it will find these names and set the proper values right so this this function do the modification of the file and finally and finally we, we will go to the geometric builder we will run the salome so a salome execs you need to set up following your your uh, installation path of the salome and the build geometry is basically the file which manage the building the geometry yeah so this file is is run and this template parameters is read automatically. So we before that we will copy. Sorry, we will copy our new. Uh, I think it's this name T opt run parameters for this run. It it is copied. It is copied into the template parameters. So the geometry builder will be will be run based on the actual parameter parametric variation or variation of, of the parameters. And basically that is done because this is run on the beginning of the T-opt run. So this will give gives us the new STLs, but the T-mesh is always read from that. So it will automatically use the new STLs and run run the next step. Yeah, and basically basically that's all. So hope I do not I did not make any mistake. So I can I can the opt. I can set the directory in which the optimization will be run. So the opt webinar, for example. And now I'm curious if everything is set correctly. So we just click the run the opt. Okay, now you can see that that the Salome is running the script. So now I think one or two minutes it will generate new STLs and then it will run meshing, CFD simulation, it will create the report <clears throat> and at the end it will go to the next next T opt run. And we can jump in time. <clears throat> so at the end we can I, I have run the simulation in the advanced or, or the optimization, which is here, here in the optimization, five parameters. And then you can see the files or the directories for each parametric run. And it will include standard TCAB simulation or TCA simulation. <clears throat> so you can open any case explicitly. You can open any any report explicitly of any 
<clears throat> any folder and at the end you will see for example let me open let me open the the project file so at the end you will see all the variations which were run and you can list through through them or you can follow the values in the in the report okay so if the t t -op is activated then the t -op browser is also avail available here so i will click apply okay up a little bit okay so on the page and in the t -op, you can see that this result geometry so it includes the geometry variation for the for the very first very first run so if i go for example I make it a little bit visible and then I can browse each run so if I go for the 14 run so if you can so now it's reading the new geometry and you can see this is the variation 14 and similarly you can okay these are the result files so I would like to see the report so I can go back here is the T opt report which include the standard, standard, let's say, standard <clears throat> parameters of the tube simulations, like how many processors were used, the overall time for the simulation, the tube setup, parameters, list of parameters, and then there is a huge table of the parameters variation and the uh, follow the quantities which were followed, and with the simulation score icon, which will show you if there is everything okay or there must be something wrong with for example the convergence or 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 the flow rates at the inlet and outlets and all the other all the other parameters for the yeah, for the simulation check so you can see there are many of them so if i go to the to the to the bottom maybe i can enlarge it a little bit let's say okay and I will go to the very bottom. So there, there are the graphs, or maybe the the most most important one is this best point section, so which shows you the best run for the maximum optimization function and the particular parameter parameter values. And in this folder, you can you can see for each run the value of of the following quantity so efficiency power and the total pressure difference and the optimization functions so the, so here just a little bit just to co comment this figure so blue one blue dots are connected with the doe yeah so the pre doe run which which do the explicit variation which we set and the optimization run starts which so these points are depicted in green and the best efficiency points is depicted in, in, in red. And again, you can also see the 2D, 2D graphs. So we can choose optimization function versus each parameters. So how it, how it behaves. The optimization function based on the blade thickness, for example. And here are the three axis graphs. So you can, find any combination of the two parameters and the values of the optimization function so you can see nicely the behavior of the optimization function on on the given couple of couple of parameters yeah so it can be nicely and you can also see here the the all the track quantities with respect to the given given uh, given parameter and the same for the three axis graphs so you can see for example power versus the thickness of the blade and the number of blades so this is this is here all right so i think i will i don't want to bother you too much so basically here you have many many data avail available to follow you nicely see the best efficiency point you can really track whatever you want and the connection is pretty simple at, at the beginning we will definitely help to connect with any 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 software it, it is really done in the in the in the complex way so 
using the scripting, we, we can do miracles, let's say. So it can be connected to everything which has some kind of API. So if, if there you can set the list of parameters and it will do something for you. So generate the geometry, like for example, in CF Turbo K6 or any, any other softwares which can do nicely the parametric models. So this can be connected to, and maybe in the next webinars, we will show you the connection to the particle software. So I think from my side, it's all. So Lubos, what do you think? Absolutely, yes, yeah, it was, it was <laughs> great. It was great, I, I like it. Um, uh, well, uh, yeah, J just, just first impression is, mm -hmm. um, of course, uh, every project, every simulation workflow is is custom, right? This is this is mm -hmm. not the same for everyone. So because uh, every every workplace, every engineering office has their their ways, their their customs. So it's there's uh, quite quite some uh, custom custom work involved. Uh, also also you you have to have some some skills of, of simulations right because yeah, that, this, this sure. is not for the beginners but but the value you receive at the end is is a huge that that's i'm absolutely sure of i can promise uh but uh yeah you the 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 the, the critical part is the critical point is, is you have to set it first right you once you set it first then it's mm -hmm. easier the, the way easier every every next time uh yeah definitely yeah so the, the, the there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, amount of flexibility associated. So all the questions about if something is going to, uh, is, is, if anything is possible, almost always we answer yes, it's possible. There's there's a lot of scripting available. So so no, no don't, don't don't worry about it. Uh, maybe it looks complicated, but but no worries. You you don't have to know Python and or Bash or everything. It's always much easier in, in practice than than, in, mm -hmm. than than it looks in the theory. So don't don't worry about that and then feel free to get in touch with us and we will gladly uh, give you our best guesses or our best support and help uh, with mm -hmm. your custom case. Um, this this case is, uh, I would say, quite quite high end because th there's the, the Salome script who, which creates the geometry. I can imagine that, that uh, every other office mm -hmm. has, has their own geometry builder, then it's then it's a little bit different, uh, but no worries. The principle is, is the same. You you just change yeah. or or the, the the TCAE or the opt changes the parameters. It tells it to your geometry builder or it tells it to the script which creates the geometry, and the geometry is created and then the simulation is is run as 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 normal. So so it's not complicated at all, especially if if you once get uh, on, yeah, on a definitely. horse. Yeah. <laughs> right and, uh, right. and, and it is it in the in the in the general way yeah so if you set this script in this way which can be done for any any an external tool and you would like to add more more parameters you just add them here and you don't need to change the script again because it automatically read the name of the parameters and if the parameters is set precisely like the in the external tool then everything is done automatically yeah so now i can add three more with the proper names Right, and I don't need to touch the initial initial script, never more. Right, so it's done in this nicely, nicely way. So once it, it is preset cleverly, yeah, <laughs> then I can add more parameters directly without touching the initialization script. Yeah, which is the beauty of it. Okay. Right. Um, <laughs> Okay, Radek, thank you for for this. For, thank you for this contribution, and I will. I think we can. I I think we can. We can slowly go to the to mm -hmm. the next uh, yeah. next part, which is this Q and A. So let's 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 have a look. So I would like like to ask any everyone to to ask your questions. Feel free to ask your questions, and we will we will pick the the most like representative and most relevant questions, and and make, do our best to answer them. And uh, you can be sure that all the, all the questions will, will be answered. So it can. You can ask whatever you like, and and we will make it more precise um, later. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so I'll need we need to open it. Uh, I guess it's here. Yep. Yeah. And Radek, feel free to pick pick uh, uh, any question you like. Um, mm -hmm, I can. Mm -hmm. I, I I see already one. Uh, uh, our 
friend Heiko Kip is asking if the case will be possible to use with CF Turbo. Uh, yes, it will uh, for sure. We are already uh, making uh, uh, the very similar case like this uh, centrifugal fan. It will be, uh, guess what? It will be centrifugal pump with <laughs> CF Turbo and, and we will also create a webinar with, with Oliver. Uh, uh, at the end of, of, of November, I guess. So so you can look forward that, that in one month we will show the same for the pump and also connect it with CF Turbo and we'll be also happy to tell some details about the connection with CF Turbo. Uh, it's already, we're, we're already, already uh, yeah, in, in the process. So it will take uh, some couple of weeks, but it's certainly possible. Uh, CF Turbo is in, in just another geometric builder, right? It's it's another geometry creator. Mm -hmm. There's some yeah, big yeah, yeah, yeah. thing, but it's uh, not a, not a big issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the script, the script will yeah. be different a little bit, but the principle is very the same. Yeah, very, very similar. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this is not uh, yeah relevant. Uh, Okay. Uh, yeah. So mm -hmm. Ilya Ilya Pankratov is asking, uh, what's the efficiency of your examples? So so it's I think it's visible, right? The efficiency is about uh, the, the the formula is in, in the manual. The the value of efficiency, if if that is the question, is is about eighty percent, which is which is the some 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 the top of 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 centrifugal funds. They they, they can they can go like eighty to eighty three. That's the the best uh, the best uh, results possible. Of, of the best funds of our of our clients we know mm -hmm. and uh, of course this case is artificial right so it's 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 based on a real project a real existing fund but it's 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 artificial but 82 is 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 very good uh, good value for for scientific fund of this size uh yeah how to mm -hmm. choose the initial guess for iterative algorithm yeah it's it's a good question so currently we have quite, I would say quite simple method, uh, which is called golden search method uh, of, of the of the optimization algorithm. And it it, it guesses uh, based on the DOE. So, so the current current uh, version uh, in TCAE uh, 21.9 uh, does always some, uh, it does always some DOE, uh, even the simplest possible DOE with, with the borders of the parametric space. And then it, the and then the, the optimization loop it it guesses based on what has been found with the OE. So maybe maybe at, at this level maybe it's it's enough information. So it does always the OE, even the simplest one, simplest possible with the, with the borders, and then algorithm starts whatever has been found. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh... Well, Radek, can you do you see any any question you you'd like to answer? Uh, there are many of them, and I'm reading <laughs> reading them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe I, I I pick randomly one. Also, I would like to know about parallelization in the software. Is it there that each specific specific geometry is parameterized only for the parameterization is parallelized? Uh, well, so the the C, each run like T mesh and TCFD is parallelized. Yeah, so meshes run in parallel and COD simulation is run in parallel, but the T-opt is run serially. Yeah? So for one set of parameters are created and everything is simulated. Yes. And then because you need to decide based on the previous results, what will be the next. Yeah. So this one is run in serial, but all the simulation behind is run in parallel. And I think there is no, if you have one, one CPU, or 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 the or the cluster which is connected by InfiniBand, there is no I think no fortune to 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 run for simulation at once and then go for next. Maybe there are situations where it could be could be a, a plus, but at the moment everything run in serial in sense of the T of runs, but but behind everything is run in parallel, like the CFD solver or or the meshing tool. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Thanks. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, maybe back. Back. Uh, Heiko has a couple of questions, that, but but I'm not exactly sure. Mm -hmm. But in this case, uh, the cat files were prepared before the run. Uh, 
Uh, yes. Uh, no, yeah, okay. Maybe, yeah. yeah, maybe I can I can set it because okay. yeah, you you need to you need to prepare the T mesh and CV run based on your source geometry. Yes, and if you use the geometry or parametric cat, you need to have the first output. Yeah, because you need to know how many STLs are generated or what is the what is the structure of the of the source geometry. And for for it, you create the T mesh and and set the simulation, and then you you can vary using the different parameters and export again the STLs. Yeah. So for example, in CF Turbo, so you will export for your machine, you will export the STLs, for example, manually as, as currently. You will preset the simulation and when everything is preset, then you can you can connect with CF Turbo and you can connect it via the parameters and then each next run will, will generate new STLs, but in the same in the same sense, yeah, with the same names, and you can just import them back and run it like like this uh, geometric like this geometric builder do. So yeah, you need to prepare it for for the very first, let's say, output of of the software. Yeah. So and, and then then you can clone it, right? But it's 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 yes, along exactly. the way. It's not not yes, before yes, it's yes. along the way. We we call yeah. we call runs the individual simulations, right? So so every run has uh, from generic geometry preparation to the, to the end, and then based on the results, you can uh, the, the 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 optimization algorithm decides what to do next and suggests a new set of parameters, and then the new geometry is built and etc. Mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. So it's along the way. Yeah, uh, and maybe the next question about the about the hard disk hard disk size. Yeah. So yeah, if you have 100 runs and each run has one gigabyte and you will have 100 gigabytes yeah but yeah. anyway in the initialized script you can say okay after the simulation delete delete the team image delete all the results and just keep the report for example yeah so you can you can optimize then the whole workflow sure but it it can be really really uh, like consuming. It can be demanding on on hard drive. Yeah. That, that's that's right. If you if you want to keep everything, it it the the, the size uh, of of the project grows uh, very very quickly, and and it has to be taken care of for sure. Uh, uh, okay, um, Radek, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Is there is there a, any question you would like to answer? I, I see a couple of them, but they are too specific. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, get in touch with this email because it's. Uh, I won't. I don't want to mislead you. Uh, it's. Uh, it's difficult to answer in in this in this format. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. Same. And, and the time uh, is up. I think so. We will. We will answer via email in more yeah, detail. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Don't want to bother the others <laughs> with a specific answer. Okay. Okay. So so this will be it for now, and mm -hmm. yeah, maybe it's time to conclude. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so who will start? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. So Radek, please. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I just would, would like to thank you for watching. And if you have any any specific question or if you need to discuss something, do not hesitate to contact us. We always gladly answer, or we will gladly support you in in your matters, in your problems. So feel free to contact us. And thank you for watching. Great, absolutely. I have nothing, nothing to add. Uh, thank you for coming, for sure. Get in touch with us. We'll be happy to to get in touch with you, and we'll be happy to help. It's our job and uh, pleasure at the end. So, yeah, thank you, and bye bye for now. Bye bye.